Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a mid-size SUV from Kia, the all-new Sorento, and a large SUV from Subaru, the Evoltis Touring iSight, and 2023 Audi TTR's iconic edition. Plus a feature-to-feature comparison of two subcompact sedans, the Honda City RS versus Mitsubishi Mirage G4 GLS CVT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about fuel-saving devices. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of Honda Cars Kawaiian's upgraded facility as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is all a focus, and we'll be right back after this short break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS, bring on the thrill. The Mitsubishi Strata athlete, confident to the core. Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, November 17 to 20 at Block 20 of the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive the latest models from Shangan, Ford, Honda, Hyundai, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM Motor. The Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, the one-stop shop for the latest car models. Transcend your business with the Isuzu Travis. Inquire now at any Isuzu dealership near you. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Kia. In this edition of Car Review, we take a look at the all-new Sorento 2.2 SX 4x2 Kia's entry into the compact SUV market. Kia has made movement that inspires its mission going forward. It creates spaces that inspire its products, stores, and services. So does the all-new Sorento manifest the movement that inspires vision? The all-new Sorento takes up a space that is 4,810 mm long, 1,900 mm wide, and 1,700 mm tall. It comes with a 2,850 mm long wheelbase and clears the ground by 176 mm. The new Sorento can be said to inspire with its clean, elegant lines most pronounced in its profile. The fascia offers modern touches in the treatment of the grille, judicious use of chrome with SUV sportiness and functionality of the silver skin plate. The rear continues the clean, elegant look with vertical tail lamps and reflectors and touches of sportiness from the bumper treatment and spoiler. The all-new Sorento does not lack in modern light technology including LED multi-reflector headlamps and auto light control, LED daytime running lights, front fog lamps, high mount stop lamp and rear combination lights. Other exterior features include body color front and rear bumpers, side mirrors with that power adjusts and come with integrated turn indicators, rear window defogger, chrome belt line molding and outside door handles as well as a power tailgate. 
the 19 inch alloy wheels on the new Sorento also look sporty, especially wrapped by 235, 55, or 19 series tires. Kia can be said to have been especially inspired to make the new Sorento, especially the top of the line SX offered in the country, quite welcoming to both driver and all six passengers it can accommodate in comfort and convenience. This starts with a smart entry and remote start function. One can start the Sorento with the aircon on even before you enter the SUV. If you choose not to start the engine by remote, there's still the illuminated push start button. Once inside, driver and passengers find themselves as con and comfortable leather seats. Driver and front passenger are spoiled by 8-way power seats with cooling. The pilot also benefiting by 4-way lumbar support with memory. Second row passengers also find seats that split, recline and slide 60-40 and feature an armrest. The third row seat splits and folds 50-50 fully flat to increase luggage space. With the third row seat up, luggage space is at 357 liters. Folded, this increases to 1,090 liters. Folding the second and third row seats, the cargo space maxes out at 2,139 liters. All those aboard the Sorento won't lack for beverage and cup holders, 10 all in all. They also won't lack for charging ports with three USB ports at front center console, two at the front seat back panel, and one at the rear center console. Add to this the 12 volt 180 watt outlets at the rear console and rear luggage area. Back up front, the driver and passenger enjoy the rich ambiance provided by the metallic and wood trims on the dashboard, as well as satin silver inside door handles. The elegance is complemented by high tech modernity provided by the 12.3 inch TFT LCD instrument panel that integrates speedometer, commoner, rheostat, trip computer, and multi function display. Elegance and modernity is combined in the Sorento interior, best represented in the leather wrapped steering wheel, which tilts and telescopes and comes with button and controls for audio, Bluetooth, multi function display, cruise control, and lane control assist. The gear shift knob is wrapped in leather. The SX comes with electronic parking brake with auto hold. Standard comfort and convenience features include power windows, central door locks with auto locking function, dual zone automatic air conditioning. Also standard in the Sorento are console box with tray electrochromic rear view mirror, glove box with illumination, map and room lamps, sun visors with vanity mirrors, and ticket holder. The all-new Sorento infotainment system features an 8-inch touchscreen display, AM FM radio, and MP3 player, as well as Bluetooth, wireless Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, and 4 speakers plus 2 tweeters. Underneath the hood of the all-new Sorento is Kia SmartStream 2.2L diesel engine with common rail direct injection and variable geometry turbo technology. With a displacement of 2,151 cc, the inline four-cylinder engine generates a maximum 202 PS at 3,800 revolutions per minute and 441 newton meters of torque from 1,750 to 2,750 RPM. Power and torque are directed to the front wheels by Kia SmartStream 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. A rotary knob on the center console allows driver to easily select the preferred drive mode for different road conditions or mood. Drive modes include Eco, Comfort, Sport, and Smart. The Sorento rides comfortably enough for a mid-size SUV with a suspension system that uses McPherson struts in front and a multi-link system in the rear. Handling can be best described as composed with stopping power coming from a brake system that uses discs on all four wheels. The Sorento can be a fun drive, especially in sport mode. He has also equipped the Sorento with the latest in driving assistance and safety technologies. These include anti-lock brake system, electronic stability control, downhill brake control, hill start assist and trailer stability assist, and cruise control. Also standard in the Sorentos are front, side, and curtain airbags. 3-point ELR seatbelts are 7, with driver and front seat passenger also getting pre-tensioners. The top-of-the-line SX also have an additional blind spot view monitor, lane keeping assist, forward collision avoidance assist, rear cross traffic alert, making it quite easy to park the Sorento SX or a 360 degrees surround view monitor and front and rear sensors. Also making it safe for children in the Sorento are the child lock and isofix child anchors on the second and third row seats. There may be enough in Sorrento to inspire those looking for a good 7-seater mid-size SUV. The latest auto industry news and developments, right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, 
always be ready for a heart racing exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS, bring on the thrill. This is your time to discover space that opens possibilities. The new Hyundai Staria. Innovate every day. Are you into grassroots racing? Slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing. Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily rider weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fix Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash fixstopautoservice. Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, November 17 to 20, at Block 20 of the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive a wide range of the newest models, all in one venue. The Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, the one-stop shop for the latest car models. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. The Autofocus Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival, or PC-TDF, is back to complete Sunshine's television's annual tandem of test drive festivals along with partners in the automobile industry who consider this time of year as a peak buying period. The return of the Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival follows the holding of the summer edition of the Autofocus Test Drive Festival back in May, which was a success in helping would-be buyers finalize their choices. The Autofocus Test Drive Festivals provide would-be buyers a variable one-stop shop for comparing vehicles firsthand. This negates the inconvenience of having to hop from one distributor to another in search of one's model of choice. The PC TDF takes place from November 17 to 20 at Block 20 of the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. The festival will be open from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. throughout its four-day run at the Boa Concert Grounds along Seaside Avenue. Suzuki Philippines has opened a bigger dealership in the province of Laguna, further strengthening its growth in South Luzon. Another feather in the cap of Gateway Group led by its chairman and CEO, Marcane Goho Suzuki Auto San Pablo sits on a 3,400 square meter lot in the municipality of Alaminos, a few kilometers from San Pablo. A complete 3S facility, the new dealership boasts five service bays and a showroom that can display up to six of Suzuki's top-of-the-line vehicles. The Gateway Group expects the dealership to grow even further and cater to more customers and clients in the province and the region. We have a big area in the back that can cater to future customers of Suzuki. So we opened here two years ago during the height of the pandemic. We had a 1S facility which catered mostly to sales and we had a small service center right beside it. And today, we're actually celebrating the opening of this dealership because we've sold enough over the last two years and we're very happy here in San Pablo. Through the San Pablo dealership, Suzuki hopes to take part in Laguna's growing local economy, seeking to lead the further development of the province's automotive market, providing every family with a wonderful car life journey. San Pablo area serves as a gateway towards the farther area of the South Luzon, meaning going to Bicol, going to Luzena. People stop here in San Pablo, so having a dealership here in San Pablo will play a very significant part of the success of Suzuki Philippines. This will definitely play a significant role in our dealer network. Suzuki Auto San Pablo will be one of the vital cornerstones here in the South Luzon. So I'm pretty positive that with the leadership of a Gateway Group, this will become one of the dealerships to record with. Isuzu Pagbilao celebrated its fourth anniversary by relaunching the dealership which is now in the midst of a transformation towards iOS or Isuzu Outlet Standard. 
Gracing the event, Isuzu Philippines President Noboru Murakami cited the dealership for not only increasing its sales but also for providing best customer satisfaction. Uh, today, we are celebrating the fourth anniversary of Isuzu Pagbiro along with it. Our dealer is also relaunching its newly renovated facility, supporting the new Isuzu Outlet standards. Established in 2018, Isuzu Pagbiro caters to a diverse customer segment from different business, a transport cooperatives, and individual customers. During the celebration, Isuzu Pagbilao President Marcel Tolentino touted the revamped showroom, service area, tower signage, and sales reception area. IOS compliant is for clients' benefit. I want all my clients to feel the comfort while inside our showroom. As part of our dealer expansion, so our Road to 50 target, so we are hoping that for the next two years or three years that we will hit our 50 dealership that will uh, provide the best business and transport solution to the people of the Philippines. And we would like to make sure that all our products and services will be catered nationwide. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track. And the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart racing exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer. Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, November 17 to 20 at Block 20 of the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive the latest models from Shangan, Ford, Honda, Hyundai, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM Motor. The Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, the one-stop shop for the latest car models. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. This edition of Head to Head fits two Japanese subcompact sedans, the Honda City RS CVT and the Mitsubishi Mirage G4 GLS CVT in a spec to spec comparo. At the very stages since their local introduction, the Honda City and Mitsubishi Mirage rule the subcompact sedan segment. Through several incarnations over the years, the City and Mirage had ups and downs with popularity and sales, even with more joining the segment. The rivalry between the two Japan brand subcompact sedan continues. Let's compare the specs and features of respective variants of the subcompact sedans from Honda and Mitsubishi, the Steady 1.5 RS CVT, and the Mirage G4 GLS CVT. The Honda Steady 1.5 RS CVT is 4,553mm long, 1,748mm wide, and 1,467mm tall, with a 2,600mm long wheelbase. The city clears the ground by 134mm. The new Mirage G4 sedan that now sports Mitsubishi's Dynamic Shield fascia is 4,305mm long, 1,670mm wide, and 1,550mm tall. The Honda City 1.5 RS comes with rally sport design front and rear bumpers, high-gloss black grille with RS emblem, trunk spoiler, shark and antenna, 
and 16-inch R's design aluminum alloy wheels. It is equipped with full LED headlights with auto-off timer, LED fog light with sporty garnish, LED high mount stop lamp, body color door handles, intermittent front wipers with washer, and side mirrors with integrated turn signals that fold and adjust electronically. The Mitsubishi G4 arrived with multi-reflector halogen headlamps, bulb type rear combination lamp, side view mirrors with integrated turn signals and LED high mount stop light, as well as 15 inch alloy wheels strapped by 18555R15 tires. The Honda City 1.5 RS comes with the One Push Smart Entry and Remote Engine Start System. The cabin features black and red trim with seats upholstered in leather and suede. The front seat slides and reclines with height seat adjuster for the driver. Like the shift knob, the three spoke steering wheel is wrapped in leather. It tilts, telescopes, and features switches and buttons for cruise control. Auto hands free telephone system with voice recognition and paddle shifters. Adding to comfort and convenience are center armrests in front and rear power windows, two cup holders for bottle holders. 12 volt accessory sockets, automatic air conditioning system with rotary knobs, digital display and rear ventilation. The Mirage G4 GLS also comes with keyless entry and operation that allows entry into the roomy cabin and engine start with key fob and pocket. The driver's seat adjusts six ways. The rear seat back features a pull down rear center armrest with two beverage holders. In the GLS, the tail double steering wheel is wrapped in leather and comes with controls for audio. The dash features a high-contrast instrument cluster with speedometer, rev counter, and a multi-information display monitor. Other convenience features in the Mirage G4 GLS include electric power steering, auto climate control, and steering wheel mounted audio controls. The Honda City 1.5 RS infotainment system features an 8-inch touchscreen unit with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, WebLink, Bluetooth, two USB ports, and eight speakers. The infotainment system on the Mirage G4 comprises a 7-inch smartphone link display audio system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, radio tuner, USB, and 4 speakers. The Honda City 1.5 RS is powered by a 1498cc inline 4-cylinder gasoline engine with double overhead cam, program fuel injection, and IV tech that generates 121 PS at 6,600 revolutions per minute and 145 Nm of torque at 4,300 RPM. The engine drives the front wheels by continuously variable transmission. The suspension system features front McPherson struts and torsion beams in the rear. The brake system uses front ventilated discs and rear drums. The new Mirage G4 is powered by a 1.2-liter or 1,193cc three-cylinder Mivic engine, generating 78 PS and 100 Nm of torque, and sends all that to the front wheels by an Invex 3 continuously variable transmission. The Mirage G4 suspension system uses a McPherson strut and coil spring with stabilizer in front and torsion beam in the rear. A brake system features 14-inch ventilated disc in front and 8-inch leading and trailing drums in the rear. Honda equipped the City 1.5 RS with safety and driver assist features that include dual front, side, and curtain airbags, 3-point seat belts for 5, child lock and isofix child seat anchor, speed testing auto door lock, and security system with alarm and immobilizer. Helping keep drivers safe are systems that include vehicle stability assist with agile handling assist, they start assist, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, and emergency stop signal. A multi-view rear camera greatly helps with parking. The Mirage G4 is equipped with dual airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 5, isofix child restraint as well as teeth anchors. The GLS variant comes with anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, brake override system and a rear view camera with guidelines for easier and safer parking in tight spaces. There's a lot to like in both the Honda City RS and the Mirage G4 GLS, making it more difficult to choose a subcompact sedan these days. Kay nagkahanap ng truck, naging sumabak Sabi sa asahan sa maraming haputan Kayang cargo, 1,660 Kayang cargo, no problem sa delivery yeah. Kayang cargo, 1,660 Kayang cargo, no problem sa delivery Travis, ta-ta-ta-ta, Travis 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 Transcend your business with the Isuzu Travis Inquire now at any Isuzu dealership near you 
Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, November 17 to 20 at Block 20 of the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive a wide range of the newest models, all in one venue. The Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival. The one-stop shop for the latest car models. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Honda Cars Kawhi and Isabella, a member of the Gateway Group, has leveled up taking on Honda's new corporate image concept. This special feature takes us to the highlights of the former inauguration of the renovated facilities and showcases the new upgraded features. We are here at Honda Cars Kawaiian City. It's located basically in the Kawaiian Isabella. And we are here to inaugurate the dealership of Honda Cars, Hawaiian City. This is under Gateway Group. This is basically our 37 dealership nationwide. And we are very happy that we have opened again and revived the Honda Cars, Hawaiian City. Basically, we would like to cater to all the Ilocanos no? and those living from the Cagayan Valley because this dealership was appointed here in order to cater to the Ilocanos and also those living in the Region 2. So the primary market area for this uh, dealership is basically the provinces of Region 2 in Quirino, Nueva Vizcaya, Isabela, and uh, Cagayan. The dealership is about 3,500 square meters. And if you're going to see this dealership, we have applied basically our uh, new uh, corporate image or BI. No? And we have applied here our basic concept of what we call the active reception. Wherein the, the focus of the dealership is really to cater to the needs of our Honda customers. No? And we would like to assure all the my Kababayan in Region 2 that we are here to provide a quality service to all of you. Not only quality of service, but also the quality of cars that we are offering in Honda. It's actually been here for some time, but we're proud to say this is the first newly renovated dealership with the new CI. So we're actually the first. And it's 3,500 square meters. And our workshop can accommodate up to 30 units per day and our showroom can accommodate a five car display. This year it also marks 18 years for Gateway Group. So we began in 04 with just one simple dealership in Mandawe City in Cebu and now we're actually nationwide everywhere. Uh, North Luzon, South Luzon, Metro Manila, as well as Mindanao. So we're very proud of the growth we've achieved over the past few years.
I would like to invite all the televiewers there, especially those uh, living in Region 2 from Isabela, Cagayan, Nuevo Biscay, and Quirino. Honda is here to serve you. And if you want to know more about Honda and the quality of services that we're going to offer, please visit us at Honda Cars Kawayan City. And uh, we also have a website, hondafield.com, wherein you could see our offer, our models, and our product offerings. In leveling up its facilities, Honda Cars Kauaian expects to better serve its clientele in Isabela and the whole of Region 2, including Carino, Nueva Vizcaya, and Cagayan. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track. And the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart racing exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS, bring on the thrill. Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, November 17 to 20 at Block 20 of the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive the latest models from Shangan, Ford, Honda, Hyundai, MG, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM Motor. The Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, the one-stop shop for the latest car models. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Subaru brought its biggest SUV to the Philippines. This edition of Car Review checks out the Subaru Evolta. There's no mistaking the Evoltis for what it is, a Subaru as one sees it coming down the road, going fast and speeding off. The Evoltis represents Subaru's entry into the mid-size SUV segment and it looks apart with its dimensions. 4,998mm long, 1,930mm wide, and 1,819mm tall. On size 245 50R20 tires, the Evoltis rides a good 220mm off the ground it also has a long 2,890mm wheelbase. It comes with a massive grille, a trend these days, and a large 5-star badge to drive home the point that it is still a Subaru. Despite this, there are still hints of the Outback and the Legacy in its proportions. The Evoltis comes with much of the exterior features expected in premium SUVs. Front LED headlamps with auto levelizer and steering responsive function, fog lamps, daytime running lights, roof rails, and roof spoiler shark fin antenna, automatic rain sensing windshield wipers. Even the integrated turn signals on the power folding mirrors come in LED. And let's not forget the large power sliding glass sunroof. The Evoltis that Subaru brought in the country is the 7-seater with twin captain's chair in the second row and third row bench seat for three. Speaking of the leather-lined seats, the driver gets a 10-way power adjust with memory function. The front passenger gets 4-way power adjust. The seats are also heated and ventilated. The Evoltis meant for the Philippines also comes with much of the expected comfort and convenience features for premium mid-size SUVs, keyless access and push-button start, power rear gate with memory function, 3-zone automatic air conditioning system. The infotainment system features an 8-inch touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, Bluetooth hands-free system. Audiophiles will love the fact that the Evoltis comes with a 14-speaker Harman Kardon audio system. There are USB power ports in all rows of seats for smartphones and tablets, as well as 19 cups and bottle holders. Subarus are renowned for superb handling and performance, driving earned from years of success in rallies. The Evoltis lives up to that rally-bred reputation. 
It is powered by a 2,387cc turbocharged gasoline engine that generates 260 PS and 375 Nm of torque. The Boxer engine is mated to a Linear-tronic continuously variable transmission that sends power to all four wheels via Subaru's patent all-wheel drive system. The CVT may not be to everyone's liking, but there are paddle shifters for those who like better control of shifts. The steering wheel tilts and telescopes to aid the driver to get his preferred driving position. It also comes with controls for the audio system and cruise control. The Volta suspension uses the front McPherson struts and rear double wishbones that Subaru favors, the tuning of which seems biased for great handling. The brake system comes with ventilated discs on all four wheels. The Voltis brought to local shores comes with the Subaru EyeSight Driver Assist technology that features systems that Subaru says help keep an eye on the road, alerts drivers to potential dangers, and even help avoid collisions. The EyeSight technology includes front view monitor, pre-collision braking system, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning and sway warning, lane keep assist, and pre-collision throttle management. Other driver assist systems include one-touch lane changer, rear cross-traffic alert, reverse automatic braking, blind spot detection, and X mode that gives the Evoltis greater off-road capability. The Philippine spec Evoltis also comes with four-sensor, four-channel anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, brake override, active torque vectoring, vehicle dynamics control system. Also standard in the Evoltis are front, side, curtain, and knee airbags. Isofix adapted child seat anchors, side door reinforcement beams, and engine immobilizer. The Evolte certainly comes with premium features that added to Subaru's renowned qualities should make it an attractive choice for those looking for a luxurious mid-size SUV. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we will be talking about fuel saving devices. Whether they work, or do they, or do they not? For as long as there have been gasoline engines, and fuel that goes into our cars, there will always be people who will try to sell you fuel-saving devices. Now, the hallmark of these things are like the pyramid scheme. More power, better efficiency, better mileage. Sometimes they attach a number to it, up to 30%. And if they're really great, up to 50%. Then this is the latest in the long line of them. This is the killer power box. This has been making the rounds of the various car clubs and as with every fuel-saving device, the claims are always like this. More power, very satisfied customer feedback, less usok. Okay, let's put it in the test, shall we? As with any claims of better power tests, we always put the car on the dyno because it's very simple. The machine doesn't lie. It cannot lie even if we wanted it to. We've actually seen a number of these things over the years that we've been doing. DOST and DOE actually certify us to do the benchmark testing for anybody who wants to market these things and wants to get a certification from them. So we're going to put this killer power box, install it on the engine, put it on the dyno and see that if it really does make power. And let's set the bar kind of low. We're happy with 10 horses. <laughs> doesn't need to be 30 horses, doesn't need to be 50. 10 horses will do fine. <laughs> Absolutely no gain. <laughs> Voila. Zero gain. Absolutely none. We'll do it one more time. 
Just to make sure and nobody can say anything. Yep, absolutely no gain whatsoever. <laughs> if you want to think about it, it's actually a slight power drop of about four horses. You will run into these kinds of devices on your Facebook feed, on your car groups, on your friends who will tell you that there's this latest power saving device. It's very simple. If they promise horsepower in double digit gains, fuel economy savings in also double digit gains, it is not true, don't even bother thinking twice, and then it is too cheap and too good to be true, it's definitely not true. So don't even bother wasting and asking, hey, does this work or not, and all of that. No, it's not. There might even, I've also seen some videos where they have some slick backstory about two college engineering students who were sued by the oil companies because their device saved fuel and all of that and the oil companies want to keep it buried. That's also not true and it's a 100% scam. Fuel saving device? Definitely not. There's only one place this belongs to and it's not your engine. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.